Good evening traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Vishal and you're watching Nifty and Bank Nifty short term view. Guys, last week I could not share any educational video which I generally share on uh, Sundays which is the weekly sectoral analysis. The main reason was I was out of town. I just came back yesterday and uh, now I'm shooting a video. I hope this video will be very very important to understand how the markets are moving right now. Now on the left hand side I have the early time frame chart on the daily chart is on the right hand side. Now the coordinates which you can see over here the blue horizontal lines are same on both the time frames. On the upside it is 22,223 and on the downside it is 22,096 or 22,090. And you can see this particular support very small support band is from 21,737 to 21,700. Now, if you remember in my previous videos, maybe last two to three videos, I have been clearly saying 21,000 is an important support because it was a support in the daily as well as the weekly time frame charts. And that is the reason from 21,700, we can see a bounce back of almost close to four to 500 points in Nifty. Now, after this bounce back, probably the bulls would have been very, very happy that the markets could not crack further. But Apart from that, if you can clearly see, especially within this particular zone, you can just see up and down movement, random up and down movement. There is no systematic uptrend which is continuing. And the main reason for that is many sectors, many stocks within those sectors are consolidating. Few are trying to go higher, few are trying to correct. And that is the reason why this consolidation is happening. Now, in case if the nifty spot tries to close above 22,000 to 30 to 40 with a positive big green candle then yes some sort of up move can happen but this up move again will face resistance at 22,343 because you can see this is the downside of this rising wedge which was broken on 13th of March after that this rising wedge has not been tested so in case if prices give a breakout at 22,000 to 30, 20 to 30 then they will give and uh, possibly they will try to test this 22,355 or maybe slightly higher if the breakout delays then the levels will be slightly higher once this is taken off then this entire breakdown which occurred within this rising wedge will be a fake breakdown and possibly we will be seeing the all time highs probably testing once again on the other hand if you see any weakness any big red candle closing below 21,950 or 21,850 this will be the first sign the first sign that once again markets are trying to go back towards 22,700 so yes you would probably understand by what I have been speaking like even if they give a breakout there are just 100, 150 points higher and if the next resistance is broken then all time high and if this particular low is broken 950 and 850, 21, 950, 850, then probably we'll be going towards 21,700. So that is a plight of Nifty right now. We are extremely range bound. If you have a look at Bank Nifty, okay, if you have a look at Bank Nifty, then Bank Nifty has been showing some sort of resilience for sure. It's not able to close below 46,190, 46,100, uh, 46,200, which is a good sign. But again, at the same point of time, it's not able to surpass this level of 46,700 because it's a 121.2 percent Fibonacci extension. It's working like a magnet. You can see consistently prices are hovering around here. So if you have a big green candle closing above this level, then the next level to be tested probably could be 47,320. Okay. So overall, still in Bank Nifty, we are range bound, and this market is mainly stock specific market but even as a stock specific market it is not a time to trade a lot it's trying to be it's time to be very very picky about your stock picks and even after you are picky it can happen that maybe your trades will hit a stop loss or they'll try to consolidate and suddenly random up movements or down movements can happen the reason is <clears throat> nifty itself is within a couple of hundred of points of range okay Although there is one stock which I would like to share with all of you is Hevels India. Now, if you have a look at this particular stock, especially in the 
hourly time frame chart you can see that there is a bounce back from this particular previous high which was earlier a resistance now it has become a support there is also a decent trend line breakout in the rsi there is also a trend line breakout in price you can see this sorry not this one i'll try to plot a proper trend line breakout for you this is a decent trend line breakout but what this is a decent trend line breakout but what we need to understand that there was a downside gap over here if you can see this one there was a downside gap somewhere over here from 1500 to possibly 1496 in this zone so we have a candle closing above this now i guess once we have this close if the momentum continues on the upside then as a swing trader you can fancy of you can fancy your chances in this particular stock but again just don't go on my word please put in your own analysis before you do it or if you do it, any trades in this particular stock and one more thing which i would like to share is that many of the stocks which have corrected recently probably 10% probably 15% probably 20% from the top mean it it means that some sort of weakness is underlying nifty is trying to stay higher it's trying to consolidate is it that the nifty the overall market is going to consolidate and then after the correction again the stocks which have corrected will start moving higher or is it that this is just a random bounce back and again nifty will crack 21700 and will you know head for a proper bigger correction i guess this is something which only time will tell this is the million dollar question which many people are still stuck into even i am so i'm giving myself time and let's let the price tell its own story to us and only then we'll be able to understand trade less be very very choosy about your stock picks and if you feel that this video has helped you in understanding the market movement then try to share this video with other traders as well thank you